everybody. Uh, welcome to Dwayne and Idiot's Food, Travel, and Fun. I'm Dwayne, and this is Dwayne's World of Wings. And as you can see, I've got some wings today I'm going to work with. So uh, I'm going to try what's uh, going to call Japanese white wings. I don't know how white they'll really be, but we're going to find out, okay? Because the main ingredient in the sauce is mayonnaise. So uh, the oven is preheated to 375. I've got some wings. I'm gonna throw those in in a minute and let them cook. I'm gonna let them cook for about 35 minutes or so before I even start uh, checking. I need them to start to brown before we do any of the coating of the sauce. This sauce is not going on ahead of time at all. So, so I just have raw whole wings that uh, I'm putting in this, putting into the oven. So in here I have a little something. I've actually got some melted butter, which is part of it. This is not necessarily part of the recipe, this red hot. Uh, I'm debating whether I'm gonna add some in. Uh, it will be in the end, I wanna taste it first. If I don't think that it's got enough of a kick to it, I'll add a little bit of red hot. But as you can see, I've got some paprika, some garlic, some white pepper, some, a little bit of mustard, a little bit of cayenne pepper, some sugar, tomato paste, and as before, mayonnaise. Oh, and I also have a little bit of water because that thins it out a little bit. So, but that's all that does. So I'm going to start adding in the ingredients. Note, I've only got four wings that I'm making tonight. Um, this recipe that I, that I will include with the video, it would be enough to make 10 to 12 wings to coat 10 to 12. So I'm going to kind of step it back a little bit, make a smaller, a smaller batch of sauce because I won't need so much. But, um, that's really it. Let me start bringing it together and I'll show you that. Let me throw these wings in the oven and we'll be right back. All right, the wings are now in the oven. Those are gonna go for a little while. Um, so I've got about a, uh, a tablespoon of butter in, in this, for this recipe. Butter's great for smoothing things out. When you wanna actually make a smooth sauce, you add a lot of butter. So this recipe normally says for a cup and a quarter, which is what I'll be writing down of mayonnaise. We're not going to, I'm not adding a cup and a quarter of mayonnaise here. I'm doing a much smaller amount. Uh, I'm, about, I'm doing about a half a cup. So, but that's okay. And I'm just going to mix it in with the butter to get it nice and smooth so that it's easier to work with when I add the rest of the ingredients. That's very creamy. It looks like vanilla pudding now. All right. Uh, I only use about a teaspoon of tomato paste. So I'm gonna cut that down to maybe uh, a quarter teaspoon. Like I said, it's supposed to stay white, so it's a white sauce. This is a lot like, oh, look at that. It's already not white, so yeah, that's okay. This is a lot like the Japanese yum yum sauce. So I don't know if people are familiar with that, but I think that's what this sauce is based on. I'm not sure why they call it a white sauce because there's really no way to add tomato paste in in any volume and have it stay white. So uh, let me add a little bit of water. Once again, I wanna keep it nice and thin and easy to mix. Oh yeah, now it's thinned quite a bit. It's no longer like pudding. It's now like a, like a barbecue sauce, like very, very spreadable. So, uh, garlic is to taste. I like a lot of garlic. So I added an, an eighth of a taste, an eighth of a teaspoon. Paprika is really just for coloring, a very light amount. So just a couple shakes. The white pepper is where the heat, a lot of the heat will come from. So there you go, there's a quarter teaspoon. 
Mustard is just to brighten things up. A couple shakes. And finally some cayenne pepper, which also adds heat, much like the white pepper. Oh, and there's one more ingredient. A little bit of sugar. I said my amounts are really reduced because I'm only doing a small batch of wings. I happened to have a little batch of wings that were frozen and thawed them out and said, hey, you know what? This is enough to do what we gotta do. And we can try it out and see if uh, it comes out as good as it's supposed to. This one is a first for me. And I'm gonna show you nice and close what the sauce looks like. It is not white. Now, since there's no egg in here or anything, I can safely take a taste to see. It's a very, it's very neutral. Nothing is overpowering it and no, no one flavor is standing out too, too strong. So we're gonna get, we are not gonna end up with white because I'm adding in some Franks. I need a little bit of a, whether it's a kick or really a direction. <laughs> Do you, is it hot? Is it sweet? Is it, you know? And it was kind of not very focused in any direction like that. I'm sure I could always bring up the, the cayenne pepper and get it to go a bit more that, that way, but I like Frank's. Ah, uh, and it didn't take a lot, it really made it nice. So, all right, we are all set for now. I will set up by the stove when it's time, when I start uh, coating the wings, and we'll continue the video over there. All right, it's been about 40 minutes. Getting a nice brown color. I think it's time to put that first coat on. It's nice and light, nice and thin, so it gets into all the little nooks and crannies. So definitely when you make when you make this sauce, be sure to use enough of that water, just so it'll saturate really well get inside I like it. I like it getting well into the, the mix here I uh, typically use two coats of any sauce that I make and I think this will be the same put it on nice and heavy it's turning nice and golden colored because the um, from the heat of the chicken it's actually making the mayonnaise Kind of like cook a little bit. And that's all there is to it. Just a simple coating, there they are. And in they go. Uh, I like to put them in for five minutes each time. So they go in for five, come out, get coated again, another five minutes, and that'll be that. All right, it's been five minutes. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, it's got a little bit of coloring up. It's done. Time to hit it again. Get a nice second coat on here. I was telling Nadia that the sauce looks really good, and I think the only thing that I could see improving the sauce would be Parmesan cheese. I use that in a lot of my sauces. It gives a nice texture. It adds a nice texture to the surface of whatever, you, of the wings that you're coating. And uh, sometimes it adds like a little bit of a crunch to it. It's, you know, the uh, the powdered kind of uh, Parmesan cheese, not, not the shredded. Yeah. So, there we go. Nice second coat. Let's see how this goes. I might go an extra minute or two. But I'll judge that as I go. I'll put it in for five. 
And we'll be right back. Like All right, so uh, I've given it a couple of minutes. I sent her the and that they sent me. And it was I'm uh, recording. Uh, yeah. So it's been, uh, I let it go five minutes, but then I added another two. So it's been going for seven. And yeah, it looks right. So let's give you a look. There you go. And let me plate this. I'll bring it over to the, uh, to the island, plate it, and we'll try it out. Okay, so here it is. Get a nice look at it. And smells really good. It's got, it's got a nice light color for wings. It's not that dark color you get when you make, like, when you do it all franks. So let me see. Here we go. It's a very good flavor. The mixture of peppers come through. And that mayonnaise coating gives you that, kind of like that creamy feel. It is, it's very, it's actually uh, came out really good. Mm. Oh yeah, there's some of the cayenne pepper. Mm. Oh, definitely. It was a nice experiment. I'm going to sit down here and finish off my plate and enjoy these wings. So these are my uh, Japanese white wings, even though they aren't very white, but still going to call them white wings. And I'm Dwayne from Dwayne's World Wings and Dwayne and Nadia, food, travel, and fun. Thank you for our uh, watching me make my wings. I hope you try it out. Let me leave a comment if you do and let me know what you think. And uh, until next time, and take care. Remember, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe, ring the bell so you'll get notifications about more videos and uh, we will catch you next time on Dwayne and Nadia Food, Travel and Fun. Bye. GoPro, stop recording.